Hey everyone, it's CR7 here with another diecast review. And this one is the last of my most recent haul. Again, not from my Bristol Waste uh, Bristol Night Race haul that I got from Scott's Collectibles. This came from Circle B Diecast. So today we're going to be reviewing Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s 2023 Continental Chevy Camaro Daytona 500 race win. Yes, this is the exact car he won the Daytona 500 in earlier this year. So we're going to get into it. Carefully open the box here. There we go. Now I'm going to take it out off, off camera. So it'll be easier for me to get it out. All right. Now that we've got out of the box, right here. So let's get into the die cast review, starting with the car rolling on screen. He's going to Waffle House. Not, that's not a joke. Uh, Ricky actually went to Waffle House following his Daytona 500 victory, bringing along the Harley JRL trophy. <laughs> what a way to celebrate a crown jewel. Especially as, as big as of a crown jewel like this. So anyways, let's get into the diecast review. Starting with the front of the car, we have the Chevy bow tie, the Z01 logo, uh, number 47, and the Sunoco logo right here and right here, as well as the uh, team logo. And there's confetti on the splitter right here and all over the front bumper. So we're going to go to the passenger side. We have number 47, uh, the 75th anniversary emblem. NASCAR Cup Series, Goodyear, a uh, little arrow, 47, Continental, another Continental right here, the exhaust pipe right here as well, and the arrow indicating where the jack man should put the jack to lift the car up, as well as some decals up right here, uh, Wix filters I recognize, and I, the others are too small for me to read on this part, but we have Kroger right here, and something else that is right there that I can't see. As well as Stenhouse Jr. on the name rail. And the graphite wheels looking pretty cool. So let's go to the back of the car. We have the Kroger logo. Uh, Continental, the rear onboard camera. Uh, the Chevy bow tie, number 47, ZL1, Camaro, as well as the rear spoiler art. And the driver's side is the same as the passenger side, except for the American ethanol ring and some little confetti indentions, as well as... The exhaust mark right here. So let's go to the hood of the car. We have Continental covered in confetti as well as Kroger. That's covered in confetti. As well as the uh, uh, hood louvers right here. And we have the Chevy bow tie on the windshield as well as Stenhouse Jr. So let's go to the roof of the car. We have some confetti on it. Number 47, Continental. Uh, Stenhouse Jr. on the rear window and some sponsors on the deck lid, which consists of Sunny D, Icy Hot, Reese's, Slim Jim, Drumstick, Cheez Its, uh, Continental. Um, the others are too small for me to see. This was the only ones I can uh, see because the decaling is a little too small for me to read. Anyways, here's the underside of the car. It has the underwing as well as the uh, licensing and whatnot. So yeah, pretty cool looking paint scheme. Uh, it was unexpected uh, when I saw Stenhouse when he won. He It was between him and I do believe Joey Logano after Larson got turned in the back by I think Travis Pastrana who was taking part in that race as well. So anyways... This has been a review of Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s Continental Daytona 500 race, die, race win diecast. So anyways, subscribe for more diecast reviews, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.